And we are, of course, extremely happy that we now have two more beam lines, or beam onto two more beam lines. It was last week we got beam on this one, Balder, and just as recent as uh, the day before yesterday on Hippie. Um, by saying beam in onto the beam line, of course, we are not referring that we have beam all the way to experimental stage or anything like that. It's still far away to go, but it's still is a very big achievement or an important milestone, you can say, for us, because it means that quite a number of our subsystems are working in order to achieve this. I mean, we need to have front-end ready, we need to have the insertion device ready, we need to have vacuum, cool, vacuum cooling water, uh, uh, radiation safety, personnel protection safety, alignment. So, I mean, it's quite a number of, of people and functions which has actually contributed to to, to this uh, achievement or, or in for, for us to, to proceed this far. Then of course now the, the work starts for Constantine who has quite a bit of a challenge to proceed with the commissioning of all the Balder as we are standing in now. Yes, so now it's time to use the optics which has been built and aligned and uh, prepared for controlling. This technique, uh, hard X-ray absorption spectroscopy, is uh, suitable for a vast range of applications. And uh, the, the main advantage of this hard X-ray spectroscopy is that uh, high energy photons can penetrate deeply into material. So they can go through windows, uh, they can uh, penetrate uh, gas, liquid, uh, so gas at high pressure, high temperature. So, so mostly it, is, it will be for chemistry, catalysis, but also for environmental science, for biology, for materials science. And then official users should begin somewhere in, and by end of this year. Okay, so now we have the hippie beamline and uh, yeah, three of the four members of the beamline team and we have the uh, two uh, beamline um, scientists. We have uh, Jan Knudsen and Andre Schwarzki. And I'm the spokesperson of the Hippie Beamline. My name is Joachim Schnapp. Um, if we start by saying what, what, what's been on, well, we've, we've just received light uh, for the very first time in the, in the beamline. So that's, that's an important milestone for us. Um, and uh, well, the, the Hippie Beamline, it's a beamline where we do um, X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy, but not standard X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy, but ambient pressure X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy. Uh, and that means that we aim for doing our experiments in situations that you could call real or close to real, uh, especially with respect to the pressure. So previously, um, experiments have been done in vacuum very much, and that is a very static situation. Now, with that kind of technique that we called ambient pressure X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy, uh, we go to a situation where we have much more real uh, pressure conditions uh, and where we do then in situ and operando um, experiments, which means well, that, that is uh, conditions that, that are realistic. Uh, and that, that is very important in, in a wide range of, of fields uh, within physics and chemistry and material science, even uh, uh, biology, for example. So, for example, we look at energy materials, we look at catalysis, uh, solar cells um, that could also be electrochemistry uh, um, samples, electrochemistry environments, batteries, fuel cells, uh, photocatalysis, um, thin layer growth, uh, even uh, for example looking at the structure of biological samples in, in, in real conditions. Um, there is a wide range of, of things to do in, in surface science and material science and in the end, it's up to the imagination of the of the users, really. And so that means that we now have beam onto five out of the so far fourteen funded beam lines. And in just a few weeks from now, we expect the next beam line, the other that we have behind us, to take beam for the first time as well. <laughs>